Hello there, thanks for stopping by and happy independence to all of you. The moment we think about Independence Day, the first thing that comes to our mind is our Indian flag. So in this video, we will learn in more detail about our national flag. Our tricolor flag is designed by Mr. Pingal Venkaya, who is a freedom fighter from Andhra Pradesh, India. The national flag should be rectangular in shape with a length to width ratio of 3 and 2. The flag of India is also called Tiranga. It is designed horizontally and consists of three colors, saffron on the top, white in the middle and green at the bottom. The flag has navy blue dharma chakra or ashoka chakra placed in the center of white color. The saffron color of the flag represents the country's strength, courage and selflessness, while the white color indicates peace and truth as well as cleanliness and knowledge. The green signifies fertility, growth and auspiciousness of India's land. The navy blue color of Ashoka Chakra represents the color of sky and ocean. Adopted by the Constituent Assembly of India on 22nd July 1947, the chakra and the flag has 24 spokes in navy blue color and symbolizes Hindu and Buddhist philosophies and represents ideas of righteousness, justice and forwardness. The Ashoka Chakra has 24 spokes. The 24 spokes of Ashoka Chakra, which inspires every Indian to work tirelessly for 24 hours. As per the law, the flag is to be made of khadi or a special type of hand spun cloth of cotton or silk. The khadi Development and Village Industries Commission holds the right to manufacture the Indian national flag. There are various standard sizes of the national flag prescribed by the flag code and citizens must choose an appropriate size for display. The standard si flag sizes are on the screen. Please have a look. Also, 450 by 300 mm size is to be used for aircrafts on VVIP flights, 225 by 150 mm size for motor cars, and 150 by 100 mm size for table flags. Now, let's see the rules governing to display the Indian national flag by citizens and private and educational organizations. There is no restriction on the display of national flag by members of the general public, private organizations, educational institutions, etc. provided they follow all the prescribed rules. Now, let's see the important things have to be kept in mind. The flag should not be used for commercial purposes. The flag should not be dipped to sell you to any person. The flag should not be used as portion of costume or uniform. It should not be embroidered or printed on cushions, handkerchiefs, napkins or any dress material. No lettering of any kind should be put on the flag. The flag should not be used as a receptacle for receiving, delivering, holding or carrying anything. The flag should not be intentionally displayed with saffron down. The flag should not be used to cover a speaker's desk and should not be draped over a speaker's platform. The damaged or dishelved flag should not be used. The flag should only be displayed from sunrise to sunset. The national flag should be flown only on important public buildings such as high courts, secretariats, commissioner's offices, collectorates, jails and offices of the district boards, municipalities and jilla parishads and departmental public sector undertakings. The flag shall be flown on these buildings on all days including Sundays and will be flown from sunrise to sunset irrespective of weather conditions. The national flag should be flown on the official residences of the president, vice presidents, governors and lieutenant governors when they are at headquarters and on the building in which they stay during their visits to places outside the headquarters. The privilege of flying the national flag on motor cars is limited to the following, which shown on the screen. Please have a look. The flag should be flown from sunrise to sunset on such official residences, irrespective of whether the dignitary is at headquarters or not. On Republic Day, Independence Day, Mahatma Gandhi's birthday, National Week, 6th to 13th April in the memory of 
Matias Ali and Walamba. Any other particular day of national rejoicing as may be specified by the government of India or in the case of state and the anniversary of formation of the state. Insult to the national flag will attack a prison term of three years. As per section 2 of the Prevention of Insults to National Honor Act 1971, whoever in any public place or in any other place within public view burns, mutilates, defaces, defiles, disfigures, destroys, tramples upon or otherwise shows disrespect to or brings into contempt whether by words either by spoken or written or by acts, the Indian national flag or any part of it shall be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to three years or with fine or with both. So these are the rules and regulations and details about the Indian national flag. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.